All right, so we left off on page 25. They happen because sunshine makes the seasons and because the axis of the earth is tilted. The southern half of the earth has seasons too. They are the opposite of opposites of our seasons. When it is summer and we are going to the beach, people on the southern half of the earth have winter. They are skating and skiing. The North Pole and the South Pole also have seasons. Their winters are cold and dark. The sun does not rise every day. It is dark all winter long. During summer at the poles, the sun does not set every day. For several weeks, there is no light. Seasons at the poles are opposite. When the North Pole has winter, the South Pole has summer. Six months later, when it is winter at the South Pole, it is summer at the North Pole. Along the equator, it is warm all the time. The temperature stays about the same all through the year. You can see why if you experiment with the orange. Move the pin to the equator. Watch the pin to see what happens as you go through a year. You'll see that day and night are just about the same length in summer and winter, spring and fall. That's good if you like warm weather all the time, but it's also nice to see snow once in a while, to see the flowers and birds of springtime, to go swimming in summer, and have pumpkins in the fall. Year after year, the days change, and so do the seasons. We have winter, spring, summer, and fall because the sun warms the earth and because the axis of the earth is tilted. All right, thanks for listening. Have a good day. Bye-bye.